Welcome to today's Daily Chelsea, your one-stop shop for all things Chelsea related. He's Jack Davis and he's having a bacon sandwich and a flat white. And as you know, this is Rory Jennings and he's having a fruit salad and, what is that Rory? A coconut water. It's lovely. Um, guys, as it's Friday, we've got the Friday feeling here in central London, it's glorious. We thought that every Friday we're going to do this together. We're going to do the Daily Chelsea together. Uh, I think Jack has done a wonderful job while I was away and it's an honour to be in his company. So if you like the idea Thank of us you. doing it together, do us a favour, give this video a thumbs up. That way we know uh, if you don't like it, if it doesn't get enough thumbs up. Obviously it's your channel, you dictate what happens and we won't do it again. Um, Jack, I suppose you should get us underway. The Sun have reported yep. Amir Begovic has signed for Chelsea. Well. Hang on, Rory. He hasn't actually signed just yet. Uh, reports are he's on the brink. Okay. Um, he's probably hours away, so maybe you know this time tomorrow he will be a Chelsea player. But as as it stands, it hasn't totally gone through. Uh, reports are that us getting Begovic um, is going to see uh, Van Ginkel going the other way. Okay. Now, um, what are your thoughts on that, Rory? I just think it's a win-win. I can't see an issue here. We're getting we're getting a wonderful keeper. He's a fantastic goalkeeper. He's, he's actually a number one, really. He deserves to be a number one in the Premier League. He's good enough to be. And he's coming in to be our number two. So I'm I'm delighted with that. Crucially, Amir Begovic, weirdly as well, because obviously he's not English or Welsh, but Amir Begovic is classed as a homegrown player. And that's, a, that's an issue for us, yeah. He's classed as homegrown because of his time at Portsmouth and whatever. Oh, right. okay, yeah. So, this is a big deal for us. We're getting in a, a, a player to tick off uh, on, on that homegrown box. Yeah. So, and he's a great keeper. So, I can't see why that's uh, that's just brilliant that he's come in. And Van Ginkel going off and getting Premier League experience is also a wonderful thing. Yeah. So, I can't really see the problem here. The only issue, if there is one, is why do, do we have to question Begovic's character, being yes, prepared to exactly. come into Chelsea to sit on the bench. Mm. What are your thoughts there? Well, I think maybe, I don't know, maybe Jose has sort of promised him some game time or something, because otherwise, uh, it, it, you know, from his point of view, going from a, a regular starter at Stoke to sitting on the bench week in, week out, um, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd hope to think it wasn't all about the money, but you'd think, well, what, why What's else would he do it? Why else would he do it? I'd like to think that Perhaps in his, in his heart, he believes that he can displace Thibaut Courtois. I know that that's a, a huge ask Good luck. Him, but I think that he must believe in his own ability and therefore yeah. has come in thinking he can potentially be Chelsea's number one. And perhaps Mourinho said, if things go well for Chelsea, we'll play in excess of 60 games. No player is going to play 60 games. So there will be games available for Begovic. Yes. Yeah, trophies, he'll get trophies, I suppose. He's, he's, he hasn't had enough trophies lately, or no, whatever. You know, the odd, the odd um, League Cup run out, maybe uh, FA Cup runs yeah. is, what he can, is what he can hope for, because I can't see him be getting picked yeah. above Thibaut in the big games. And it's good news for Van Ginkel. Van Ginkel getting Premier League experience is a good thing. Well, I mean, since that knee injury, I don't think we've seen hide nor hair of him. So I, I'd like to see him in uh, playing for Stoke, just so he can sort of catch up on his progress, really. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, going the other way, a player who has officially departed Stanford Bridge. Now, this is a racket, isn't it? I'm really yeah. sorry about this. Um, but we're the Daily Chelsea. We shall not be moved. Doesn't matter if it's raining, doesn't matter if there's a two strike, and it doesn't matter if they're going to try and force us out. We shall not be moved. <laughs> um, but Josh McEachern has gone the other way. There's a picture of him right here. This is him signing for Brentford. Um, yeah. Sad to see him go. Think it's the right time? What, what well, your thoughts? yeah, sad to see him go. I think we spoke about uh, Josh uh, last week. Um, you know, he's a Chelsea boy grown up through the ranks. Uh, we all had such high hopes for him a couple of years back when he was breaking into the team. Um, you know, we've spoken about it before that he hasn't really gone on to fulfil that potential. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I think, I mean, you, you said it earlier that it, in the whole of his professional career, he hasn't scored a goal. 7,000 minutes of football, not one professional goal. Yeah, so it's not you know, Chelsea standard, is it? Th those stats and, unless aren't Unless it's Chelsea I mean, he certainly is not that. It's not. And he started on Twitter on my pal Charlie the Hurricane. So, Josh, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Don't be bringing trouble to my pal's door. Absolutely unacceptable. Um, but no, to be completely honest, I, uh, I hope it worked out for him because he's obviously got the talent, but it just hasn't yeah. worked out for him at Chelsea. Yeah. Um, some more uplifting news, far more exciting news. Yeah. The wonder that is Dan Petrescu, probably my favorite ever player. Super Listen Dan. This. Listen to this. This is just the mark of the man. After signing a three-year contract with Targu Mures, a team in Romania, uh, the 47-year-old won the Romanian Super Cup and that was his only game, so he, he signed, for, signed for a club to be their manager. He managed them for one match, won the Romanian Super Cup and quit. One match, one trophy, done. 100% yeah. record. Uh, that is a mark of the man. That is a microcosm of the brilliance of the man. He goes in, he wins a trophy, he leaves. Um, 
I love Super Dan. What are your thoughts on him? Oh, Dan, I mean, takes me back to that era of, you know, the, the Hullet, Viali days. Um, yeah, you know, auto glasses, our kit sponsors, Super Dan, um, that first wave of foreign players um, that, that came to the bridge, you know, part of probably, you know, that era where we fielded a, f a foreign 11 yeah. for the first time ever. And um, as a right back, I don't think, I don't think he's been equaled really. Um, you know, I've got a lot of time for Branislav, but just Dan in Petrescu, of, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm class. And, and anybody who may disagree, I can immediately quell those thoughts in your mind. Dan Petrescu has a daughter, her name is Chelsea. I think we can finish on that note. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, we want to know your thoughts. We're both going to be on the comments now. So comment below, let us know what you think. And remember, if you enjoy this segment, give us a thumbs up. Cheers for watching. Got the champions.